Hey guys. Uh, here we are. We're going to be four cues. I was told uh, comments saying, let's do some five cue stuff. So we're going to be four cues just because I want to take four stones from a one Don, which is crazy stone. I guess we could set it at one cue and then we're five cue, but we're here. We're the black stones. Uh, we've done a number of these. We can extend, we can pan, we can pinch, we can go, walk away. Uh, what haven't we done yet? I don't know. Let's kick. I have to make a choice. So I kick. I'd go fourth line. Feel free to go third line is fine. And if you recall last time, uh, we as four cues heard, oh, just play this as a habit because it annoys white. That's our premise, which is something I heard and I'm getting used to it. So, oh, we heard that. Oh, a lot of things to do here. We're just going to take the corner. There's a lot more complex things to do, but we're just taking the corner. Nice. We have an actual corner and Sente. Nice start. Where to next? Can you identify the big areas and decide which one's biggest? Left is left and bottom are the two widest, and it's all four fours, which love to extend. So left and bottom are both quite large. But neither of them take into consideration the character of the board. So let's do that. First, we have to white has a thing here that's pretty strong. How do we feel about white approaching? Is white could Let's say White had a big wall there. When he approaches, he's suggesting something very large. Well, now if he approaches, it's low and settled, makes it a small area. We want him to play there, right? Low, settled stones are finished. They don't want to put any more stones in there. Also, for us, it would be small. Okay, so we found a place not to play. Good information. Anything else? Yeah. We have an open skirt. So white can abuse that. White can come in and take advantage of that. Uh, and that character is more important than width. You know, the left, very big. The top, ah, we have a need. Need is a bit of an overstatement, but an open skirt. It's like, we got to close it sometime. We have to, or else we get nothing there. Okay. Uh, we close it. Uh, last time, I believe we closed it this way. You see the cursor. So when white comes in, it's hard for white. We could do that again. This also closes it, but easier for white to come in. This also closes it. This is the one I don't like. Yes, it closes it, but it suggests that this is our area, which it is not. That's my problem with this move. So we like, hopefully this all is making sense. I'm going a little fast, but your 5Q, your 4Q, you should know a lot of this. Uh, so, so far we're at G17. But let's look at another way to deal with it. Fourth line is for growing, which we have the right to do, and keeping pressure on our opponent, which we can't do. He's very settled. So it's a growing move. What if we grow with it? Now it's harder for black to white to come in because it's more narrow. We've grown with the stone we said we wanted to grow with. All making sense. And we haven't played that one yet, so we're playing it. Okay, we're about to defend our group. Why? Why not take a big move? You're gonna get in trouble. One dons are pretty good. Just keep it strong so we can't take advantage. Don't do anything special. Play strong. Uh, not the pinch because we, we want to play on this side where he has all his white stones to get us in trouble. We'll just play the regular here. Should we kick first? Could. 
I, I, for some reason, I just think let's defend. Let's not think about points. Okay. We are now officially inside White's area. That's unpleasant. Let's look at our, at our options. Can this stone go up well? No, that's a real dead end. Yes, it's a move, but there's it's a dead end. There's nothing to do once we make that move. So that's we're not happy in that direction. How about coming out? We're still in White's area. This does not get us out. We'd have to go this far to think about breaking out. Well, that's not part of our corner. So we can't get out. Okay, that's two negatives. The extension doesn't work very well, and we can't get out. And our 3-3 three, is open. You catching that? You look at the characteristics, they're all negative. White's going to get us here. So let's live in the corner for defense. Secondly, big. It's a big move and defense. So it's a good two-purpose move. This move defends, takes the corner, and doesn't ask this white stone to help itself. If we kick, he's saying, I'm going to help myself. And this becomes a good area. If we come down, we're not asking him to do that. If he comes up, it's on his own time. So let's just take the corner. Okay, let's close our skirt on both sides. Really helps on top, right? Okay, check this out. <laughs> let's call this an attack on black. Normal Joseki, we defend our group as we take points, as we bother white. Good move. But we want to do Tawari. Let's take off in our minds. I can't do it because we're actually on the crazy board stone. Usually I have the, we're actually playing on the KGS board so that I can look at variations. But someone said, no, well, we like it when it's live. So I'm doing it live. So in your head, take off L16. Now black to play. Well, one defense is here. One defense is out here. This is a defensive move. We have less need for defense. Now, it is a bit of a gap. Hard for white to come in, which means we're pretty defended. But this guy's one done. Is there any need here? Well, how about we choose this Jaseki? And if it goes normally, we build a wall, which is wonderful for us facing this area. If he comes out instead, we'll defend naturally. If you're for Q, can you walk through that Jaseki choice? Can you see that this defense is a little bit inefficient since we're already defended? Three quarters defense, half defense. It's a good defensive move. And it's already there. So we have less need. So we can walk away, which I like. We walk away. But then he comes in and it's going to be a fight. So let's just clarify. And there we go. Let's do it. I haven't done this way in years. I do it this way. Let's do it this way. Okay. How's the ladder? Oh. Oh, white. Okay, so we can't play the ladder. So what's our job? We can see this black group not connected home, and it just got a little heavier. Let's fix threatening to capture and building more res resistance here. Yeah, don't let them through. Okay, big move. What do we do? What's the 4Q going to do? Well, he's going to, oh, I'll play here. Did he think? Well, he thought about this one corner. 
and he played a knee jerk. Or he attacked because he likes attacking. So instead of us playing a 4Q move, because that's what coming out of our fingers is boom, 4Q, let's consider this black group, perfectly fine, perfectly fine. This gap, unfinished, but looks good. These two stones, far from home. If white comes out, we wanted to fin this side, and this isn't exactly finished. I'm seeing a double weakness here. Is there a need on the bottom left? By no means. One black, one white. We're not weak there. Let's clean up. Oh, that's a strong move. If you're fork you, that's what you need to see. Check out how well it fixes the entire situation. We now have one strong group. Okay. Where now? Bottom left. Hello. Okay. We can contact either one. Uh, we could say I'm going to contact the stronger one in order to attack the weaker one. Standard. Probably best. Let's do it. Okay. The pros say, oh, don't use this one. What White's getting is so strong, and he gets the whole corner, it's just not worth it. Well, in this case, black, white, black, sure looks like we kill the entire area. I would call that an exception. I think in this case, it's okay. But instead of just therefore playing it, let's look at the other way. We play this way. He connects Atari. We've destroyed the bottom side. And we're very alive. And we don't claim this entire area, which isn't ours yet. That's the trouble with Q players. Look, oh, I'm going to play here and get this whole side. Says who? There's lots of IG in there. Pro come in there and mess you up. So let's go the practical and strong way. And then we'll capture. Okay. He starts the co. No way we're fixing. Because that's saying, I want to not have an eye in Gote. What? Can you repeat that? That made no sense. Like you're speaking a foreign language. I have a possible eye. I want to get rid of the possible eye. I want to be a clump and it's still your move. No, there is no way I'm going to do that. Okay. Then what? Uh, running out? Yeah, but there's stuff to do here. I'd like to stay here. Lots of stuff to do. Which brings the two Ataris to mind. This Atari fixes him. The other two don't. So we're going to go with one of the two. This Atari, he takes and fills. This, what's the stone doing? This Atari, he takes and fills. We have a connection along top, which is out. This seems safer. So thank you. I think I'll just do it. I mean, I haven't read anything out other than this produces a more secure. That's all I'm looking at. Which one's more secure? It seems this one. Do I think I'm right? No. Do I think it's a 80%, 85, 90% move? I'd go with 80% easily. It has to be, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be. It sure seems to be. Okay. We can Atari. Very nice getting out move and then connect in Sente. And he is officially smaller here, and there's Aji. No call, just safety. I like that. Uh, do we want a co-thread? There's no co-thread. I guess this is a co-thread, but then he has co-threads too. I think I'll just say Atari, once again, 
Do I think this is the best move? By no means. I never think my move's best. All I'm trying to do is produce good, strong moves. Let's see, that's my wife. Unknown, okay. So, Atari. If I saw a bunch of cool threats, I'd go with the kill. But this is a nice, strong result. What now? Well, if I fix, it's really nice in game here, right? There's a weakness. The Hane Sente, nice in game. Also, if I fix, I get a monkey jump into here, hurting their eyes, hurting their life. It's a big move. Does it help with my eyes? Well, black, white ignores play yeah that's an eye i think yeah so it's it's an eye and gote and really big and bothers white on both sides yeah worth it important stone he hurts that eye and fixes his little doodad there good his next move is sente but that's he's just bumping his head against my brick wall i don't care if he plays there it's gonna hurt his head ow that hurt yeah exactly don't do it. I'm not about to play an in game. We're not an in game. Besides, he has a weakness here. It might turn into a vital point for his death. Who knows what's going to happen here? Okay. Am I weak? Back, now that we've looked at stuff, we go, okay. Am I weak? Uh, no eyes. We're out well. But that's kind of like. Two, there are three options. Mm, I just don't like quite coming up and I'm running. I'm uncomfortable. I'm going to play. Knight's move can't be cut. It's just a net. And it's getting ready for this spot in here, which has Audrey nearby. So this is running. I can't be cut. And I'm looking at a future. He saw it too. Okay. Now, how do I feel? Oh, I'm out like nobody's business. There is no attack. Okay. Can we attack white? No, white's looking pretty good. I mean, this black move here, white ignores. I'm not seeing anything, any attack. It's a big move, but it's not an attack. Any other attacks? No. Okay, what's big? This large section is really quite big, right? I'm interested in playing an in game here, but I'm sorry, that's in game. We're not in in game. Okay, how do we grow this area? That seems we've gone through my weakness, his weakness. We've discarded moves we want, like juicy in game. That's in game. Don't play it. What's left? Black's big center. It's massive. Okay. Where to? White has the sente move. Yeah, okay. Not particularly exciting, but useful to start jumping in. Uh, this one, not useful. Nothing but black stones, white stones wasted there. In through here, we have these gaps. This gap with that peep and a whole bunch of space. Ah, let's repeat that. Gap, peep, lots of space. He can do something. And I don't need to defend this, okay? How do we fix? Uh, if we're just gonna put a stone down, it looks like here. Problem is the peep's still there, the gap's still there, and now we have a third gap. It doesn't strike me. Okay. So let's go this way. From here, we're drawing the line. Here, I see, check this out, black, white, I have a bunch of cuts. So let's back off one. Black, white, no cuts. Black, white, one cut, which we can just ladder. So this is a stronger move. This is a weaker move. Why play next to White's brick wall? White's very strongly. He can do stuff. It's back away from his strength. It totally helps our two-space gap here. Totally. 
Also, if White tries to run here and thinks about running through the gap, we've already got it covered. I like it. Once again, do I think this is the right move? No. I never think my moves are right. I only think, you know, I think I came up with something that makes sense. It's rational and good. And that makes me to hear. Sorry. Absolute, complete goate. Okay. The peep could care less. Can he live in here? <laughs> kind of thinking he can. There's still some space in there. So do I grow in general? So when he tries to live, I say, sorry, you can only run. And if I make this strong out here, there's nowhere to run. Sounds good. That's like this move, right? That's a nice move. I see nothing wrong with that. Does this kill the white stone up top? No, uh, I mean, likely it's not going to be fun for him. But claiming all that is cash, I don't think so. Uh, what's our other option? Taking the cash. Well, isn't that a little more concentrated? Well, if it turns your non large non-cash area into a large cash area, it might be wrong, but it sure is nice and practical. Maybe it's only an 85% move. Pretty good move. Uh, so that seems to be our options. Continue growing, give him an opportunity, or stop him, and he still has to stop our center. This sure seems to be winning the argument. So this is the pattern. Slow your game down. Get a game with a clock on it so you have time to think. And start going through, am I weak? What's my weakness look like? Do I think he can mess with me? What's his weakness look like? Yeah, he's weak, but not that weak. Go through it. Put a two and three move readouts. Put up, put up, put up. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I think he's fine. There's something to do. Can you do something or not? Well, not really. Then don't go there. Okay, go through the stuff. Okay, <clears throat> if I draw this line, I like the points. But that means he's getting a line which bothers my group. I don't like that. This is a big area, but it's mostly mine if I play there or not. Well, what's he trying to do? His only chance is to get over my group. How about we don't let him get over to the group? Uh, simple defense, excellent shape. Check it out. I'll just do it the simple vulgar way. White, black, white peeps, black fixes. Uh-oh, looking like a stick. So we can't cut, but he can make us flat. If we play there, eyes, hello, strength, three dimensions, we're not a stick. We have various options. It's a pretty strong move, focusing on our life. If I'm behind, I'm not going to play this because I don't need to. I can try to be more aggressive. So a quick count, 10, 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 52, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 80. He doesn't have anything near 80. Great. Threat? I don't see it. How many points does this make me? One, two, how about here? He still just presses and presses. If I end up getting 10, he gets a white wall worth at least five. It's a small area. Okay, how's he doing? Virtually alive? I'm virtually alive? The big areas are all gone. This is the last opening move. No one knows who's going to get that area, but it sure seems small to me. So it looks like we're in endgame. 
Okay, what in games? So that's a statement. In game. What about my center? What about my center? It's strong. You already have almost the whole thing. If you add a stone, you're gaining, you're increasing by only a little bit. It's not that big. So, what are our in games? Love this one. He's got vital points and gaps. And this will increase my corner and secure my corner. I like that one a lot. What else? This gap of his, just on my mind, you know? It's like he's got a gap there. I want to know what it is. Why don't you read it out? Yeah, right. We're all going to sit down when we're on the clock and we're taking four stones and we're afraid and we're going to read out the cut. No. First move should be fine. Black, he's not going to haunt me this side because now he's cut, right? Black, white, black, kill the stone. Atari, cut it off. No, he'll play this side. We back off. He fixes. You know, this move starts a lot of Aji. Ooh. He has some weakness here. Let's probe. What are we expecting? Clarification on his weakness. We got it. He's not weak there. What's that tell us? Uh, doesn't that white stone look lonely? Excellent information. What shall we do with it? Normal Q idea, connect and fight. It's a good way to lose the game. Remember this move, and it was just gote, gote, gote? Not gote anymore. We get it for free. That's a big gain. Now where? This one? It's the other one we've been thinking about. And just secure. Ooh, our corner's so strong now. Uh, he's near our gap. This guy's lost his ability to do much about that. I think I just like to fix. I want to fix in a manner where I can mess with his double cut here. This one's a little weak. Let's fix this one. This is a strong move. That one's less strong. Now we can double cut. He has an issue. Okay. We can fix. We can fix this way. There's a lot of white stones here. If we fix for points instead of strength, he might be able to get a wall and start chasing to get points here. I'm going to play it strong and not worry about getting extra. Yep. Okay. This move here made us feel... So we just finished, right? White finished in Gote. We got all this big old corner with cutting Haji. All looking good. But he is now officially much stronger in this whole area. When we put the stone down, we felt pretty good. Feeling a little less good. A lot of big monsters around. So let's do some defense with his Moyo in mind. So here, can he cut us? Uh, reading out white, black, white, black. Maybe there's a cut there. Here, no cut. But we're not getting in very far, but we're securing ourselves. Here. Uh, I don't think he can cut, but we're so weak he can threaten, 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 surround. No, I, this is a big monster. I want to play strong. I don't trust this move. I think it's the right move. But if I'm 4Q, I'm afraid, so I'm going to play the strong way. I believe it to be a loss of three or four points. Okay. Has he approached our gap? Not very close, and the gap's pretty strong. Gote. I see no attack anywhere. Okay. Where to? 
Well, I kind of like coming up through here, but the best I can do is capture two stones. Sounds like Gote. Look at the juiciness here. There's a peep, there's a clamp, there's an underneath, there's a cut here, there's a gap here. So I immediately start searching. What if the juicy one works? Okay. I place. What's he going to do? Connect. What do I do with that stone? Oh, I'm so tempted to try to cut through here. I just don't see an easy path. I see an exciting path. Like there's a sliver of a chance. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, but it's not like obvious and strong and straightforward at all. Oh, I want to peep here so bad. White, black, white, black. I don't see it. So I'm going to play end game. Can I jump? Yeah, he's weak there. I can jump. Does this still work? He ignores Atari. That's massive. Okay. Uh, black, white, black, double Atari. Okay. Wow. How many points did we just get? Get. We gained one, two, and we reduced two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 points in Sente. It's probably closer to 10, but somewhere in there. That's a big gain. What? Where next? We check out our group. There's a lot of very strong black area here. I wouldn't even think of reading it out. It's just lots of good stuff. So we're good to there. Where next? This is double Sente. I mean, he doesn't really want us coming in there. Anything else? Don't really see it. I'm not going to look to see if we can do it again because that's um, if he plays there, it's goate for him. So I don't care so much. Goate for him. I don't care. The double cut. We never got to that. Black. Let's try this one. White. Black. If he submits, we're capturing stones. So let's say he won't submit. Black, white, black, white. Cut. Weak stones. I'm going to probe. Looks like a reasonable path. Okay. We have clarity. He's offering the cut. Now we're going to decide, do we take the cut and fight, hoping to kill the stones? Or do we, for instance, prepare, he fixes, we take points. So you don't have to cut. You can get two moves, one in Sente, one in Gote. It's a big potential area. There's a weakness here. We can build this. So we're going to check it out. Black, and we're going to assume white Atari's. We come over, he sure looks dead. Now, this is a good example. I did not read that anywhere near completion. But black, Atari, white says Atari, black comes out. We just drew a line here with some pitifully weak stones. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's hard for him. It's miserable for him. It's close to death. Good enough. So let's do another variation. Black, white says Atari, black comes out. White keeps coming, black connects home. That was easy, and he still has a weak group. So when you're looking at this, again, this video is all about, there's a 4Q who's going, how do I progress? When I was 4Q, I wanted one Don so bad, I can't tell you. I'm like, how do I do it? How do I do it? Get in my head the, the better way of playing. How do I change my thinking? So I'm seeing the board like a one Don does. Okay. So you read this out. Whoever you are, you all have different levels of reading ability. 
a friend of mine for years. His reading was fantastic, even at 4Q. Fantastic. Mine, almost non-existent. So it's, and we we're the same level. We we're both 4Q four to, uh, four together, 1Q together, 1 Don together, 5 Don together. Okay. When you read this out and examine it, if you feel, oh man, you know, I think I think this could just be a loss, then peep and make points. You're ahead. Don't worry about it. It's like, no, it all looks good. When I look at it, it looks good. Do I think I'm going to kill? No. I think it's going to be hard for White. And his difficulty is my gain. So we'll just do it. Uh, I could come out or I could Atari. Let's just play strong for now. Well, but then he gets a nice move. I say Atari. If he says Atari, I capture. At the very least, I'm getting profit. Has this group been hurt? Well, yeah. Is that giving him a chance? It might be. Why don't I just come out? So he has no chance. Now I have extra eye potential. We're going to fix on this side where he's weak. And now our group is behind enemy lines. We still have lots of room to do stuff, but his attack on us has become clear. I'm going to start by asking a question. Okay. I know the answer. Excellent, Aji. So, I'm thinking if I play this way, which is eyes, is he really not going to take? That's a big risk. I think I've made this move sente. Okay. He's going to play here. I don't care. I'm fine. Okay. Now what? Let's check out our eyes. I'm drawing this picture here. That's the only actual space I have controlled. I'd like more space. I'd like also this one controlled. So I'm going to come here. Now I have two eyes, right? One, two. Okay. Where to next? Uh, I would say we are officially in middle to middle end game. No, we are alive everywhere. He is virtually alive everywhere. There's still some stuff to do, but it's not too interesting. It's going to be easy for him to fix. I mean, right, this knight's move, if I fool around in there, his whole group might die. Yeah, probably not. It's, it's a long shot. So... Other than long shots, he's fine. I'm fine. He's fine. No exciting in games. Regular in game, game over. And you look down at the uh, progress bar. Black is far, far ahead. I'm going to do a quick count to see what that might mean. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and a lot of stuff. I'll bring it to 30, 40. 50, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 72, 74, 76. Have I done this yet? I don't know. 70, 75 points. A big 75. If I go count white, I'll completely forget what black had. So I put down, you can see my finger. Is my habit? For the last 50 years, that's either 2 for 20 or 7 for 70. I stick them out. I put them on the table so they won't move. Because if I go count white, my fingers are going to move. I'm going to be distracted, and I'll forget how many fingers I put down. Am I the only one? I might be. That sounds pretty crazy. Anyway, 75. Uh, white, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24. 
26. We'll give it 28. A lot of stones there. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. Less than 50. So 25. I'm basically 30 points ahead with no weak groups. So game over. Okay. Did we follow the thinking? Was it useful? I hope so. Okay, guys. Thanks. Catch you later.